Brutally honest review of the new USS Arkansas, the new nuclear strike fighter, the new helicopter, the new missiles, camouflages, and the all you need to know about this new update. So stay until the end because I will tell you if it is worth it or not. It is USS Arkansas. Okay, so this is such a cool warship okay so let me tell you that i haven't tried anything yet okay so i only upgraded and added some equipment okay so as you can see i added three monarchs this is not the original equipment by the way okay so you're not gonna get this nuclear torpedo with this warship <laughs> so yeah guys this is a new missile by the way and of course it is american too. So I guess that this could be a VIP or premium reward of the new battle pass And that this is the maritime strike Okay, so as you can see we have a damage of 14,300 points with this missile And we have two rounds per attack Which means that at the end the damage will be something around 30,000 points So yeah, it is cool Yes, it is a new missile, and also we have this new air defense, American as well. It is the RIM 162D. Okay, so it is a missile system. Bro, look at this damage. 975 points. Bro, this is so powerful. Okay, so we must try this. And look, we have two rounds per attack, which is pretty incredible. Tank mode alpha. Okay, so apparently the tank mode alpha will start at the end of this month. Okay, so that's something that you need to keep in mind because we're gonna be able to test tanks soon. So here in this slot for torpedoes, the torpedo that we receive with uh, this warship is the Mark 45 torpedo. Okay, so that's why I changed that because it is a bad uh, torpedo and I think Mark 45 could be a better option since we only have one uh, slot available. Okay, so we can only equip one torpedo with uh, this and maybe Agja could be an another good option. So remember that the Agja is not affected by the enemy torpedo decoys so the helicopter guys this is crazy okay so this is a UAV so this is this is a drone okay so there's uh, no pilot in this helicopter and look at this look at the durability the speed is pretty good I don't know which is the equipment okay so we can see that we have six missile batteries and also one machine gun so it is really good and let me check the rest of the equipment okay so if I'm not wrong this BGM 109 Tomahawk block is the same missile that we have in USS Columbia okay so it is like the same fixed missile bro look at this it is pretty cool and also these small boats okay so it is I like the details of this warship. And remember that with uh, this auto cannon, which is the Mark 38 mod 4, we can uh, destroy enemy aircraft and also warships as well. So yeah, I don't see any significant change besides uh, this uh, new lobby, okay? So we don't have change in the interface of the game. And uh, I don't remember there was another uh, new thing. Okay, so let me show you the new camouflage. Yes, yes, let me show you that. This is the first one. This is uh, the champion camouflage. Okay, so we can see an American football. And uh, I, I think it is good. It's, I don't know. I, I need to hear the opinions of the American people if they think it is a good camouflage. This is the Wild West camouflage. Okay, so as you can see, it is a similar animation to the Godzilla and the Kong camouflage. Okay, so look, there's uh, this guy with his horse right uh, there, and th it is a good camouflage. So I think it is another American themed camouflage. And th I like these guys. To be honest, 
I like the camouflages because normally I always tell you that I don't like camouflages and they are so bad, but bro, this is good. This looks like a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> This is really good. I like uh, this animation a lot. So yeah, it is a good work and also look at uh, how it looks in the helicopter. It is really good. Okay guys, so for those of you who already played uh, Worships Mobile, you will notice that this is almost the same lobby. It's the same thing. I mean... Yeah, even the fireworks. It's the same thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's the number three because of the... This is the third anniversary of Modern Warships. So that makes sense. So, yeah, should we take uh, this warship to battle right now? Okay, guys, so I need you to say hi to YouTube because uh, we're going to record uh, this video and I will upload uh, this tomorrow as my review of this new worship. So please say hi to YouTube because I will show all your comments. Say hi, say hi. Oh, guys, we have new maps. I forgot to tell you that. So basically, this is Monstrous Maelstrom, but in the night. Okay, so this is a night version of this map. I don't want to play in that right now because it is too huge for a warship. But with the aircraft carrier, we're gonna try this map. Also, yeah, yeah, there was some new maps. Okay, so we have remastered versions of the Hidden Dragon and the more balance changed. Okay, so I will show you that later. Okay, so we don't have Storm anymore. So I think that Greenlands is the best option for an offline battles. Guys, do you think that I will get assists in an offline battle? Bro, I don't think so. So yeah, this is the build that I have. Okay, so let me make sure that everything is okay. We have the helicopter, the new air defense, and the, the new missile. So we're gonna test a bunch of things in the first attempt. Okay, so let me show you this. The durability of these USS Arkansas is 487,500 points. Okay, so it is fully upgraded, by the way. Yes, as you can see. The speed is 22 knots. The maneuvering ability is 9.6 points. The radar range is 8 kilometers, almost 9. And the sonar range is 1.60 kilometers. Okay, so the weapons that we have, we have three missiles, one torpedo, two air defenses, six auto cannons, which are fixed equipment, as I showed to you earlier, the helicopter, and the three cannons. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna test in this warship is the helicopter. So, as you already know, this is a drone, and uh, we have uh, two missiles, a grenade launcher, and also the cannon. Bro, the maps are different, bro. Even though I'm using low graphics, I can already tell you that this is uh, really different. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use some flares, more missiles. Okay, look at that damage, only with uh, the helicopter. And, okay, so this cannon looks, it's like a railgun. Okay, so we have more precision, so it will be more accurate. And can we also, can we also attack strike fighters? Yes, we can do it. Look. Okay, so this is better. Bro, no way! It is so powerful, look at that! Yo, this thing is so strong. Okay, guys, look. Let me show you this with a helicopter. Okay, so I need to get closer. Let me try to get closer to this heli. Bro, that the thing is behind the mountain. Look, it's right there. Bro, it is so strong. There's no way. Okay, so I'm talking about the weapons because the durability is normal, I guess. So, yeah. Bro, what's going on with my warship? Why? Bro, I'm trying to turn to the left. This thing is crazy! Yo, what's going on? Okay, so we're gonna start again. And yeah, as I already told you, this is the equipment that we have with this warship. So, this BGM-109 Tomahawk missile 
is the one that we have equipped in the USS Columbia. That's what I guess. Okay, so it is the same missile, right? And uh, yeah, it is locked uh, equipment in that uh, submarine too, bro. Look, the first assist in an offline battle. This has uh, this has no sense, bro. This is so crazy. So yeah, also we have the new missile, which is the Maritime Strike Missile. Okay, so we can fire two rounds with uh, this missile. And also the damage of this missile is 14,500 points. Okay, so let me show you this missile in action. Look, since we can fire two missiles here, it will be for... Bro, the bots are using flares. Yo, the bots are even better players than me. Look. Okay, so I like the fact that we have a high arc. Okay, so a high angle with this missile. So it will be kind of easier to fire this missile and if the enemy is hiding behind an obstacle, it will be easy to destroy them. So yeah, look at the fixed missile. Bro, he's using flares again. Okay, so this will be all the damage combined with the Monarch Cannon. <gasps> no way, guys. It is really good. Okay, so I think that the best option could be the bot could be the Monarch Cannon, but as you already know, we have a bunch of missiles and a bunch of cannons that could be another good option for you. Okay, so it also depends on which is your favorite weapon. So the Bereg Cannon, which is a Russian cannon, is another good option for this warship. Let me try to destroy this aircraft carrier. So I'm not using the torpedo at all. So remember that we can only fire one torpedo with uh, this warship. And my graphics are low, by the way. So this is why you're watching this. But look, the gameplay is smoother compared to the first time that I tried uh, this. Okay, so bye-bye, my friend. Another elimination. One million damage already. And there's only one enemy left. So the durability is good for a warship like this. It is not like it is too high. But yeah, I think it is good. Bro, I can't wait to test that strike fighter. That will be one of the best strike fighters of the game. I'm pretty sure about that. And a lot of players are gonna ask for a nerf in that new strike fighter. Okay, so let me use the cannon. And another elimination. Three targets destroyed. How many assists? Okay, so we don't have assists right here. I guess. So yeah, it was a good battle. So overall, I think the warship is good. But I don't think that it is like better than the previous warships that we already had in some of the battle passes. So, we have this uh, fixed uh, missile, which is good and also is weird because normally we have more fixed or locked weapons in the battle pass warships. So we only have this missile and also the auto cannon. So, the good thing about this auto cannon is that it is really powerful and we can destroy enemy aircrafts and warships as well. So let me tell you that this is not the original equipment of this warship, okay? So I changed almost everything because this is the new missile and I think this would be a VIP reward. This is the Maritime Strike missile. So yeah, we have a two-slot missile and this is really good because look, three cannons we can equip with uh, this warship okay so there's also like this uh, buffers cannon could be a good option the l50 and uh, yeah this railgun is really powerful too so yeah there are multiple builds that uh, you could uh, try with uh, this warship okay so we have a torpedo slot okay so there's only one torpedo i don't find that really helpful at all if it is a weak torpedo so I think the best options are the Mark 45 and the Akja Torpedo. Also, if you're not a premium user, the Type 89 could be a good option for you. This is the new helicopter and we already tried that. So, with the weapons of this uh, helicopter, I mean the cannon, 
the machine gun, we can destroy enemy aircrafts or helicopters, and it is really powerful. It is different to all the machine guns of the rest of the helicopters, because it is most like a railgun. And yeah, you can fire like six projectiles, if I'm not wrong, but you can destroy a helicopter with only two. So it is powerful, we have a good durability, 11,700 points, if we compare that with other premium helicopters like the Merlin, okay, so it is almost the same. And yeah, we have missiles, grenade launchers, and more weapons with this helicopter. I think it is worth it, the helicopter is worth it, the warship, remember that it is free, so it is not VIP equipment, and now... It is time to test the aircraft carrier, guys. It is time to test this magnificent strike fighter. Because with this strike fighter, we're gonna have nuclear missiles and nuclear bombs. And I want to try another camouflage, but I don't want because look, in the belly, okay, so below this strike fighter you can see the USA flag okay so I will show you that once we test this strike fighter so let me see the new camouflage in this aircraft carrier is the wild west camouflage this one okay so it looks nice I like this freedom <laughs> Yes, the Nighthawk. Okay, guys, to my old uh, subscribers, remember that I used to, to make videos about uh, suggestions in the game, and multiple times I added uh, this as a suggestion. I always said, uh, bro, the devs should add uh, more warships, uh, sorry, more uh, strike fighters like this. And also, I said that it was time to get a full American Battle Pass. Okay, so that was what they did. Yeah, okay, so let me show you the new avatars also, because we have new avatars here. And the avatars are this one. This is one of the new avatars. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't care at all about avatars. It's not, it's not something that I'm interested about. And uh, there are more, but I don't remember right now which are the new ones. I don't know if this one... Uh, no, I, I don't care about avatars, to be honest. So that's something that we're not gonna talk about. These are low graphics, by the way. So I'm playing in low graphics, but you can see that we have some kind of new effects in this map, and I really like it. So yeah, look at this. This is the new strike fighter. Okay, so we have a durability of 13,000 points. And uh, yeah, look, we only have two strike fighters. Okay, so normally when you have this high durability, it is because we only, go we only are gonna have uh, two strike fighters. So yeah, let me try to search for some enemies because I want to test uh, this. Bro, I, I, I don't care, bro. I need to go I need to go back to the lobby because I think it is a better idea to test uh, this, you know, in the test uh, mode. Did they change? Look! It is the test uh, mode. Okay, so I think it is different. Look how many enemies. It is different uh, because... I think it is because it is an aircraft carrier. And yeah, let me deploy the strike fighter. Okay, so we have the enemies right uh, there. So let me use the first uh, nuclear missile. Okay, four. <gasps> no way. Okay, so it was a tier one warship, I guess. Yes, yes, it was changed, but I need to test uh, this against tier three warships. Okay, so that's the best option. Look. 66,000 uh, points. Guys, uh, that's crazy. 66,000 points with the nuclear missile. Okay, so what about this? Okay, so we have laser guided weapons. I love this. 27,000 points with that 
<laughs> no way, bro. The problem is that I'm playing in my emulator and it is so difficult for me to control the strike fighter, bro. I need you to understand uh, that. So to be honest, I think that those are too, too many nuclear weapons in that strike fighter, bro. To have like one missile and... Uh, these are bombs or missile... <gasps> Oh yeah, yeah. At least uh, these these are like bombs. So you let me search for that aircraft carrier. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be careful right uh, now because I don't want to crash again. Yes, the frigate 126 was uh, buffed. Okay, so I don't know specifically which was the thing that they changed. Okay, so this will be the complete damage test. Look. Okay, bro. I think I I missed with the nuclear bombs. <laughs> okay, so apparently you can use uh, this only one time. Okay, so makes sense because having two nuclear weapons in the same strike fighter could be too OP. So yeah, bro. To be honest, I like the fact that we have laser guided uh, missile because uh, yes, I think I think. It is kind of overpowered too because of the weapons, bro. This laser guided uh, missile gives you such an advantage that it is crazy. So look. Look at it's 27,000. Yeah, with uh, that laser guided uh, missile and with uh, the nuclear missile 67,000 points. And what about uh, this one? Is this some kind of anti flare or <gasps> bro, th th there's a bunch of missiles look, like how many rounds look okay so look with uh, that one yeah let's go with the aircraft carrier look at all those missiles bro look at that bro that's crazy that will be so complicated for the air defenses to intercept okay so 33,000 uh, points Okay, so the air defense of the frigate 126. I see. So which could be the best air defense in order to avoid uh, being destroyed uh, by this uh, strike fighter? Which uh, air defense would you recommend? So yeah, we're ready to get uh, back into action. Let me climb a little bit. Try it in offline. Yes, is that I have to try it in offline battles because this is the alpha test server and there are no real players here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get closer now. All the weapons. Ninety-nine thousand. One hundred. One hundred thirty-four thousand. No, I think it was bad. I didn't make it uh, like I should do it. So yeah, let's let's go to a real battle. Let's let's go to a real battle. Yes, yes, the test uh, map was changed for some strange reason. I think I don't know if it is only for the aircraft carrier or for all the warships, but that's weird to be honest. So we're going to try this right now. Bro, it is really complicated. To fly with uh, strike uh, fighters in this emulator, bro. I miss my PC version and uh, also my mobile device because I think it could be easier. So let's go for that enemy. Remember that uh, the bots are uh, really smart and uh, they can use uh, flares. Okay, 66,000 points. Let's use all the missiles. Look at that uh, damage. Okay, so he used uh, flares already. Can I use more flares and all the missiles bro he's going to destroy me with that laser look bro like the bots are really overpowered <laughs> in this game so yeah we're gonna wait for that we don't have new bombers in this update remember that this is the 2 222 this is a good uh, bomber because we have two, mi two missiles that are not affected by the enemy flares so it is really good. Okay, yes guys, please like this live stream right now. Okay, so if you're not subscribed, 
please subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's go back to the aircraft carrier and let me deploy this, bro. It is so laggy, bro. I don't think I will bust uh, this one, okay? So maybe the, the review of the warship, I will bust it in my main channel, but not uh, this one because I need to record it again. This thing is so powerful, bro. Okay, 35,000 